We are with the director of the Mexican Tourism Board here in Los Cabos. Uh, you had uh, an important planning and strategy meeting uh, here, and simultaneously the VIP summit was celebrating uh, with uh, Los Cabos commercial partners. How is this working? It's working well. This is a, this is a practice that uh, we have implemented over the last five years uh, with very fruitful results. Uh, because we serve as a bridge between our commercial travel partners with the secretaries of tourism of the different entities of Mexico and the directors of the trust funds of the different entities of Mexico as well. So what we try to do is to align the objectives and the goals that we have uh, for the following year, in this case as we envision 2016, so we're all in the same direction as to what we want to achieve. What would you say about this Mexico strategy to attract the upscale market? We have been growing at a very healthy pace in both uh, in the volume of international tourists that we have attracted to Mexico as well as increasing the international revenues that are generated as a result of that. And uh, what I can say to you is at the end of the day we have established revenues above volume. And that is part of the strategy that we are um, uh, incorporating and implementing going forward. It's not that we're not interested in generating more tourists, of course we are, but we would like to appeal to that type of consumer that has a higher discretionary income. And I think we're doing that, we're, we're, despite of the fact the devaluation of the peso against the U.S. dollar, uh, we continue to grow in the international revenues that uh, we're generating to the country. So as the Mexican peso stabilizes, and we believe it will, against the dollar as we enter 2016, the average spend per tourist in Mexico will escalate again, will climb back into the levels that we uh, were aiming. This is a result of the confidence that Mexico is a, is a reliable uh, destination to invest that the uh, return on the investment of their funds that they're injecting in this country will have a higher than average return on the investment. So, and that's why you see all these additional uh, worldwide uh, brands coming into destinations like Los Cabos and many other destinations as well. Uh, since 2010, $152 billion in foreign direct investment have been injected in Mexico, not only in tourism, but in many other uh, areas and industries uh, that we have in Mexico. So we just have to continue to to uh, project this confidence uh, in the investors and I think uh, we're going through a very good momentum. We're always uh, trying to identify markets in the international landscape that uh, will help us to accelerate growth and now we're seeing the results. Finally, for our private jets audience, what is offering Mexico to them? Well, I mean, the profile of consumer that, uh, that comes to Mexico and that we will continue to encourage to come to Mexico already recognizes that we have the proper infrastructure. And I think uh, it's on the right, going in the right direction, not only in the case of Los Cabos, which uh, stands out as one of the destinations that captures um, a, a big chunk of that traveler that, uh, that comes by private jet, but all the destinations as well. So, you know, as a whole, this is a result of betting on infrastructure. And this is one example of many that we have.